Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company have reported that water contaminated with radiation has leaked from a desalination unit at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They said a worker detected the leak on Friday in a device that removes salt from water used to cool reactors. The company estimates that about 360 litres of water leaked out. It says the water contains radioactive strontium. The plant's operator said the leak stopped when the device was turned off and that no contaminated water has flowed outside the complex. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is taking a closer look inside a damaged reactor building. Workers at Tokyo Electric Power Company are using a remote-controlled robot to examine a ceiling in the number two reactor. High radiation levels have prevented them from seeing it for themselves. The new robot is equipped with a 7-meter-long arm. At its tip are a camera and a dosimeter for measuring radiation. TEPCO officials said the highest radiation reading was 19 millisieverts per hour. They said images taken by the robot did not reveal any damage to pipes. They said there is an opening near the ceiling leading to the damaged containment vessel. Company officials said they'll use data provided by the robot when planning repairs. And engineers at the Fukushima plant are trying to fix another problem. They've been examining a leak in a new filtering system. They say poor welding may be to blame. The engineers found pinholes in a tank that stores contaminated water. It's part of a filtering system that's designed to remove dozens of types of radioactive substances. TEPCO crews have been testing the system since March. They inspected it over the weekend and found water had leaked from a stainless steel tank. They emptied the vessel and discovered small holes in a welded section. They plan to place a camera inside the tank to examine it in more detail. About 400 tons of radioactive water accumulates every day at the plant. Decontaminating it is one of TEPCO's most pressing challenges.